Are you struggling to create branded social media images across all of the platforms? and you really are lacking a consistent design or just consistently posting, no worries, we have a top software tip for you in this video, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Elle McCann and I am the owner and designer of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been Shopify experts for over five years now and one of my favorite platforms to use for software to create social media images is called Canva. Now I want to go ahead and say that this is not a sponsored video. I am just simply promoting them because I greatly enjoy their software and I use it across all of my businesses. So even though I have a graphic design degree and that's my background, it's still so easy to create really quick and well-designed images through the Canva platform that you can use for all of your social media sites as well as your website. And you can create templates to make sure it is a branded design. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna hop into my Canva account and show you exactly how you can get started creating all of your image needs that you need for social media posts, websites, ad images, all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So now we are in my Canva account, which again, you can sign up for at canva.com and follow along with me. So whenever you first get into it, if you click on this create a design button in the top left hand corner, you'll see all of the different design options that they have and they have a lot of different formats. So you can see here you have social media posts, they actually have documents as well, all these different kind of marketing materials you need. You could even get your business card designed here. And down here at the bottom, they also have more social media graphics that you need for different headers or images and they have ads down here as well. So we're gonna just come up here and we are going to do a Pinterest graphic because we are actually going to be posting next week a video about how to set up Pinterest ads for your Shopify store. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So we're gonna go ahead and just create this graphic for it. So I'm gonna just click on it and it's gonna open a new window for me. And then now you'll see all of the different layouts that you have over here on the left-hand side. So these are pre-done layouts. And if you pick one, you can then go in and start customizing it. So we can just pick one that we like. Let's see. Oops. Scrolled a little too far. We'll just pick this one here. And you can see also that it's free. They do have some paid options, especially if you're gonna be using the images. Uh, that you'll have to pay for, but we're gonna just use our own stuff. So I'm gonna just click on it and you can now see it over here on the left-hand side. So first off, we can change out this background image. And if we click on it twice, we can come in here and you could reposition the image how you want. And we're just going to say, okay. And then I'm gonna actually delete that. I'm not gonna use that image. So now to add in my own image, you can see over here on the left-hand side, you have different things like elements, text, background, and uploads. So I'm gonna go to uploads and I'm gonna upload my own image. And I'm gonna be doing this for Tomo. So I'm gonna do a background image here and I'm just gonna hit open. So I'm doing a, a gym background and you can see it's uploading slowly right there. I'm also going to go ahead and upload a few other images that I know that I'm going to want to use in this post. So I'm going to upload those now. I'm going to upload logos as well as the actual product images. And I'm just going to hit open for those as well. So now we can see those are still uploading. However, our first one is done. So we can just drag it and drop it over to where we want it to show up. And I just let go and it positioned itself inside that container box. So I'm gonna click on it again two times and I'm gonna move it to be where I want it to be positioned. So I'm gonna move it to be like that and just hit the check. Okay, so while those are still uploading, we can go ahead and change out some of these elements. So for example, I'm not gonna wanna have this 15. So I can come in here 
and I can actually just delete this. If you wanted to, you could double click into it to type into it, but I'm just going to delete it and I can see that it selected a couple different things. So first I'm gonna come up here in the right hand corner and hit ungroup. This way all of these different elements can now be managed separately. So now I'm gonna delete this 15, so I'm gonna just click on it and I'm gonna hit this trash can in the right hand corner and that's deleted it. We could also make this a little bit different size so you could resize it or you could delete that as well and we could put in a square. So since my logo is a square format, we can do that and just hit delete. So let's come over here now to elements and we can choose shape. So there's a lot of different icons and options that you have. So definitely play along with that and see what works best for you. I'm gonna add in a square shape and I'm just gonna drag it and drop it. And now I can move it around to be the size that I want it to be. So I'm gonna put it in the middle here. Maybe put it like that. We can also change the color of it. So it's black now. We can come in here and we can change this to white. Or you can make it to be whatever color you want it to be. So if you want it to be your brand colors, you can just click this plus sign and you can choose your brand color here or you can type in the hex code if you know that as well. So now we're gonna go back to the uploads and I'm gonna put my logo in there. So I'm gonna choose my colored logo and just drag it and drop it. And we can also go in and play with the transparency. So if I select this outer box again, you can see this icon over here is the transparency. So right now there's no transparency at all with it. However, I could make it a little bit more opaque if I wanted to by changing these. So it, it makes the logo less legible, which is kind of something that we put that box there for. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. However, you can go in and change different elements. For example, if we wanted it to be on the background and still show the background through, we can just change it like that. So we are going to bring it back now. I'm gonna put that back at 100. And then now I'm gonna add a few of my product images to the top. So again, I'm just going to drag and drop it. Now these are a PNG image. So that's how they are transparent, of no background. So definitely you'll wanna make sure that you save out these images to be without a background if you're wanting to layer them. So I'm just going to have this image there and I'm gonna do the t-shirt and I am just dragging on these corners to resize it and then clicking and dragging it to where I want it to display. So now that I have them here, we can also rotate it. So I'm just going to click on this at the bottom and rotate it a little there. And now that I'm looking, I want this to actually show up behind. So to do that, we're going to go to Arrange. I have the T-shirt selected, Arrange, and I'm gonna say Back. And now it's put this tank top in front. So I can move the tank top around and I can also come down here again and rotate it a little. So now we have these two t-shirts here placed on top. Again, if you wanted to, you can always change the transparency, but that's looking good for me. And so now we'll just come down here and change the text. So again, this is gonna be for a Pinterest graphic. So we can say, we can click in here and make it say whatever you want it to be. So we can say fitness clothes, strong women okay and so it's automatically just filling out the text for that box so we can come in here now and make it a little bit more on the sides to give us more room and we can also change the fonts so if we come in here now and we select all of this you can see all of the character selections are up top so you can change the font the size the color of the text bold italics, centering. Right now it's all caps, so you could click that off and it would be just as you typed it in. Change it back to all caps for now. You could also add bullets or change the spacing. So this is how close the words are to each other is the line height and the letter spacing is how much space is in between the actual letters. 
So while the spacing looks good for now, let's go ahead and I recommend changing your font first and then going in and changing the sizes and the spacing because that will change based on the font. So I'm just gonna pick a thin font and I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller so we can get it on two lines. Okay, and that's looking good for me so far. We'll make the space in between the letters so the letter spacing a little bit bigger. So right now it's at zero. We can just pop a little bit more space so you can see as I change that how it's looking there. So we'll go back to, let's see, we'll say a 30 looks good and the space between looks good as well. And I actually like this gorgeous and affordable but we'll change this gorgeous to say comfortable. And I'm gonna make the and a symbol, just so it's quicker to read. Okay, and then the last thing is that we're gonna wanna change this address. So we've got it to tomofit.com. And let's make this just a tiny bit over, just so it's lining up nicely in this space. And so the last step other than that is changing this background color. So right now, if we select on it, it is pink with white text. We want it to show up a little bit better though. So I'm gonna come in and select this pink and document colors. So I'm gonna select that there and we're gonna try and match it to one of these blues. So we can come in here and we can play with, and I'm just dragging it around to see what kind of blue is gonna look good in that space. Now, if you happen to know the hex color of the exact brand color that you're wanting to use, you can just paste it in here, which I do know that. So I just pasted it in, so that's that turquoise aqua blue right there. And so now it's all matching in the brand colors. So now this image is ready for Pinterest. So all that you have to do now, we can come in and first off where it says 15, this is just the title. So we can say Tomo Pinterest ad. Okay. And you can share it with a team if you're working with multiple people and invite them to look at your design but the most important thing is downloading it. So now that it's correct, we're just going to hit download and you can either do it as a JPEG, PNG, PDF, or PDF for print. I'm gonna keep it at the PNG and we can hit download. Now you could go in if you wanted to and make it a transparent background. However, we're gonna keep that as it is. So we're gonna hit download. We have no transparency in our background elements. So now it is preparing the design, and then it's going to immediately start downloading it on your computer. And once you have that done, you can go in and use it for whatever you wanna use it for, and you can continue this process through. So you can actually do this for all of your social media images or your ads, and you can use the same template. So now if we click out of that, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna click on the Canva logo at the top left. Now you can see here is our Tomo Pinterest ad, which it's generating the preview for. But now that we have that done, we can use that as a template and just copy it moving forward so that we're using the same format. So for example, this is one that I had created for Instagram. So if we click on this, it's opening up this previous post and we could go in and we could actually start editing this, the text, change out the image, the colors, all of that again and just save it as a new image. So that way we have specific stylized branded versions that we can keep using over and over again. And that way it's gonna just keep it really consistent for you. So we've talked so many times about why having a branded experience for your brand and your website is so key. Having all of the designs looking the exact same really helps bring together your branding and your voice and just keeps it consistent. So if someone sees your stuff on Instagram versus Facebook versus your website, it's all gonna look like it's coming from the exact same place, which is key. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial all about how to use Canva for all of your social media needs. Now, if you don't have an online store yet, make sure to check out our class over here called Shopify in a Weekend, and it'll actually walk you through all the steps you need to set up your Shopify store in just one weekend. So check that out, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.